Hi, welcome to the PZ Engineering channel, Passion to Excel. In our previous video, we did an introduction to the hybrid energy storage system for transport vehicles. In this video, we are going to do to show a type of topology for the hybrid energy storage system that is used in transport or electrical vehicles. Before we start with our introduction, I would like to request if you are not yet part of our family, please subscribe to the channel, share our contents, comment and like this video. You can as well join our membership team, donate to the channel in order to have special attention and guidance on your project. You will as well have access to a specific model. The type of topology used in the hybrid energy storage system, it will influence the, the operation of the hybrid energy storage system. Therefore, it's very important to choose very well your type of topology that are going to use for the hybrid energy storage system. Type of topology energy storage system have the following influence. It influences the operational principle. Because the operational principle of a type of topology, the operational principle of the hybrid energy storage system, it depends as well on the type of topology used. The cost. The cost because of the number of DC DC or bidirectional inverters also influence and efficiency because there are certain topology you have better control system and it will improve the efficiency of the hybrid energy storage system. And as well, it will influence the lifespan of energy storage device. If we control very well our system, it means that it will automatically increase or improve the lifespan of the energy storage system or energy storage device of the battery or battery that's been used in the system. Therefore, it's very important to analyze very well the type of topology that you want to use for your hybrid energy storage system. And as well, can also be influenced by the type of the vehicles, or if it's electrical, or with the transport vehicle, or any conventional vehicle. Here are the most common types of type of topology used in a, in a, in a hybrid energy storage system. The first topology is a passive strategy as advantage of having a least cost. But due to the difference voltage level between the batteries, and there is no voltage management system in this strategy, this type of topology leads to the high current peak and may cause internal temperature because there is no any DC-DC converter controlling it. This is the circuit, a given circuit of our passive strategy. We have two batteries and we have our DC bus and they have mode. As you can see, there is no any DC-DC converter. The second one, we have semi-active strategy. Semi-active strategy normally uses one DC converter. Depends, bidirectional converter. As you can see, it can be... You can either use he has, he has lithium ion and lead acid. Lithium lead acid and lithium ion. You can see there's one the DC converter manage one battery while the other battery is not being managed, it's connected straight to the DC bars. This is our semi-active strategy, which is less is more expensive, but it's better in terms compared to passive. Here we have our full active strategy. This is our fully active strategy. We have two bidirectional DC DC converter. Each energy storage is controlled by individual DC DC converter. This is normally the most efficient and effective type of, of um, topology. 
As a summary, the full active topography has the advantage compared to others. The charging and discharging current of the lithium of the lead acid and lithium ion is controlled by using dedicated bidirectional DC DC converters. This topology can provide better energy demand and flexibility in using battery with different voltage and capacity. The topology helps the system to operate in constant current mode to decrease the stress of the battery, thus increasing the lifespan. This type of topology it manage the two batteries and then we have our semi-active topology as you know the semi-active topology is the topology that you only control one semi-active topology has been acknowledged to be crucial the en for, se for energy saving minimizing the cost reaching high overall efficient and increased system dynamics however there is a limitation of not being able to control the current flow during the charging and discharging modes of the two different driving or two different two, two of the two, two of the two batteries in different driving. As a conclusion, is the full active topology, even being costly and complex, is the ideal topology for the hybrid energy storage system. It is due to the it permits more control and optimization flexibility this is what i will advise for research to use thank you so much for watching